I, I caught the bus, nigga, straight to California trying to chase my dream. And when I got there, nigga, every job that I work at was playing mailbox money. That's what inspired me. I'm like, who the fuck is Nipsey? He was the new Tupac out there. All the Hispanics, every job I worked in, Nipsey, mailbox money. You feel me? Nigga, you better play your cards right. You in the city, you facing life, yeah, you was hard, right? Now you thinking like, damn, I made a permanent decision. Your family miss you, your daughter, her daddy's missing. I'm letting these niggas know life is bigger than this prison. Like, the other day I was talking to my homie and we was having a deep conversation. He told me he just had his daughter and he's just working hard trying to provide blessings for his family. And I told him, nigga, you did it, nigga. You made it to heaven, nigga. You did something that's gonna live on forever. We had children, nigga. And I think that's what this, this is all about. Just putting in work and doing stuff that's gonna even live, even pass when we're not here no more. And that's my definition of heaven. Just people enjoying and having conversations and still talking about me even while I'm gone. Like Martin Luther King, like Malcolm X, you know. You know, all, all praise to the most high. Without him, I am nothing. And I took the steps to join him in heaven. That's why I'm doing everything I gotta do here so my name can live on forever. Rest in peace to all the real ones. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hustle. Rest in peace, Young Dolph. I love y'all. What it do, what it do, what it do, man. It's um it's 28. And this is um the first episode of my new podcast. Well, it's, it's gonna be a TV show, it's my new TV show. I'm gonna call it Rap Grind Weekly and today um I just feel motivated and what I'm gonna talk about today is just like you know, just being great. I feel like a lot of the things that I've lived up for in my past life was more so like for monetary gain, uh, for fame, and for living up to people. But as I got older and I grew wiser, it's just I realized that a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now is just for so I could live on forever. And that's what I believe heaven is, is like you put in your work in the here and now today and that even when you live on, the work that you do is being remembered and you're you're known amongst people and you've made a real impact on the world and in a positive way because in a negative way, that'd be infamous. And I see that's what a lot of people want to be. A lot of people want to be inf infamous. They want to be known for doing the wrong things, known for doing the bad things. And it's like, that's what's holding us back as a culture. And um I think that's the first step with this rap grind, the music grind, and whatever you're doing is to know that what you're doing is leaving a positive impact on people and knowing that people love you and they're reciprocating your energy for you, for who you are, for what you're doing, and who you being, like the cars, the clothes, the hoes. That's great. You know what I'm saying? But are we going to remember that when you're gone? That's what you got to think about when you're writing these verses, when you're shooting these videos, when you're acting. When you when you when you when you were taking care of your children, are they gonna remember you when you're gone? How are they gonna remember you when you're gone? And that's what I've came to realize, and that's what's making me more at peace with myself, like knowing that the things I'm doing is gonna help me live on forever in a positive way. Honey.